Hey guys, we're back once again with another episode of Breakfast with the Warrior. I am your host Bisma Ahmed and joining me today is a cricketer who has fine tuned himself into becoming one of the finest all-rounders that we currently have in modern cricket. I'm honored to welcome the one and only Moeen Ali. Good morning Moeen bhai. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm very well. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking the time out and joining us over breakfast. No problem. You have been spending a lot of time in quarantine and biosecure bubbles of late. I mean, just by the looks of it, it feels as if you exit one biosecure bubble to enter another. Does it sometimes become a bit of a challenge? Yeah, I think the more uh, we are doing this, the harder it's getting. Mm -hmm. I think you need a break in between yeah. quarantining and the bubbles and stuff. But uh, we're also used to it now. Yeah. I mean, it, it took a bit of time, but now we're used to it. Mm -hmm. Just I think the quarantine everywhere we go is getting less, which is good. And yeah. hopefully in a few soon. months time, it'll be uh, over. Yeah. Can we expect it to be over anytime soon? I hope so. I hope <laughs> there needs to be because it's difficult. Getting a little yeah. too much, yes. Yeah. Now, this uh, show is called Breakfast with the Warrior. So I want you to begin by telling us how much of a breakfast person are you? It depends. When I'm <laughs> dieting, I have a very small breakfast. But when I'm just normal and I'm playing mm -hmm. and I'll have a decent sized breakfast, my mm -hmm. normal routine ever since I was a kid was two pieces of white toast, scrambled egg, baked beans and a tea or an orange juice. Or, but that's always been what my mum makes me when I was a kid and stuff. So I've always just carried on. Is that Never. what you have these days also? The same thing. Uh, most of the time, I'll have mm -hmm. this. Maybe I changed like poached eggs, or yeah. I've never been a desi sort of breakfast <laughs> I was guy. going to ask you. Yeah. Even when you're cheating, you don't go the desi way, the parathas and the nihari. Only you know? very rarely will I go parathas, and uh, <laughs> I do like them to be honest. But um, breakfast, I like my. That's the one English thing I like. <laughs> I'm going to ask you to tell us a little bit about the tea, but that's going to be for later. But for now, when you do cheat. I'm sure you have cheat days. Yeah. First of all, how frequently do you cheat? Um, you on your diet or whatever meal plan? Yeah, no, I, I do cheat, uh, especially mm -hmm. match days. Or if I'm playing like regular. So before the tournament, like before here, I will be eating well, and then once the tournament starts, I will allow myself to cheat a little mm -hmm. bit. Yeah. And when you do cheat, what do you like to have? I'll probably have more bread. Uh, mm -hmm. I know it's not more that carbs. Much. more like muffins and something. Mm -hmm. I'll treat myself to a muffin and. Do you yeah, have a sweet tooth? Uh, not massively, but mm -hmm. I do like my fruit to be honest with you in the morning, so yeah. I think it's very nice. Yeah, it just cools everything down. Right. And uh, a lot of people say breakfast needs to be really big, really healthy. You need to start your day off on a great note. What importance do you think a breakfast plays in you know, your daily routine as an athlete? It depends. Uh, if you're playing T20s mm -hmm. and the shorter format, mm -hmm. I try to avoid breakfast because then I really? try to eat less. Yeah. I wake up a little bit later, so then I have a brunch. Uh, I have my breakfast and lunch together almost. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's important to eat obviously, but I wouldn't say it's too important to have breakfast only. Uh, mm -hmm. I think if you delay your... So you're not a person who believes in having a breakfast of a champion sort? No, no, I, I don't <laughs> think so, no. I, I mean, it, it's amazing when you... I do enjoy waking up for breakfast and meeting everybody. Yeah. I think this, the social side of breakfast yes. is always nice. People wake up and... Even with your family at home, you know, when, when you all have breakfast mm -hmm. together, it's, it is really nice. It is quite nice. And uh, if I was to ask you to tell us if you make any breakfast items, have you ever cooked? Because you do travel yeah. a lot. Yeah, no, no. I've made breakfast before. I've made just the simple English stuff, the eggs. And mm -hmm. the, I enjoy waking up uh, early for the kids and oh, sweet. and making their breakfast mm -hmm. and all that. I enjoy all that. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I do cook my own breakfast sometimes. Right. Okay, now I have a small challenge. I won't say it's a challenge as such, but an activity that we'd like to do with you. I'm going to give you uh, six ingredients and then ask you to pick three of those six ingredients and make a breakfast item for us. Only if you're up for it. Yeah, yeah, no, it'll be tough because I'm very picky. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. So um, I'll make something that I feel I would have. <laughs> okay. Right, Moonbai, so here are your six ingredients. We've got eggs, butter, bread, cheese, chicken, mozzarellas, and some veggies. You've got to pick three and show us your creative cooking skills. Oh, you want me to show you? <laughs> yeah. So which, would, which three are you going to pick first of all? Well, I have four options. Okay, uh, this, The two I would never touch but for me <laughs> is the cheese and the chicken, right? Yeah. Why yeah, not? The, uh, because uh, one, I don't, this kind of cheese, I could, I just don't eat. I'm very picky like this. Really? What kind of cheese do you eat? I'll only have cheese on uh, 
if on my cheat days. Mm. So like on a pizza or a burger or something like that. I'm not a big cheese, cheese person. No. Neither am I to be honest. Yeah. So this one's on the side. Yeah. No cheese for and any, any any allergies going by? No allergies. Okay. No allergies. Whatsoever. Just not and why not this? And this because I feel it's too early in the morning. To be meat. having meat here, yeah, I agree. Or chicken or I absolutely like agree with you. So we were speaking to Samit Patel in the quarantine diaries and he said he can have steak. I gave him a choice to either pick salad or steak for all three meals and he said he would pick steak and I said would you have steak for breakfast he said yes no he will, he will eat <laughs> look at the size of it eat anyway. but he's, uh, he loves his food to be honest he? yeah he does really love his food so I would the these are eggs, hard boiled eggs yes hard boiled egg would be definitely something uh, is an option uh, uh, and are you gonna mash them mix them with butter slice them how will we so what I would like to do is I would which is a bit messy to be honest with you please feel free <laughs> you want a plate yeah I'll, I'll take that man. I will put this uh, you have to make something that you yourself will also will, eat yeah no no this is something that I would eat okay definitely. brilliant I have two options if I wasn't sometimes you know with egg especially boiled egg mm -hmm. I feel like the smell sometimes same here I mean, the, my, the smell it's sometimes. the smell that irritates me at times and I have yeah. to Put loads and loads of black pepper to kind of conceal yes, that smell. Yes, exactly right. So <laughs> you don't mind having veggies for breakfast? No, no, I don't mind. Uh, not too many. Uh, so like cucumber, tomato, probably my two go-to ones. Okay, to be really? with you. So either. So far, it's been really tidy, not messy. No, not too bad. I mean, eating is messy. <laughs> okay. So I would either put this in both of them. Okay. And make uh, like a sandwich like this. Okay. Oh, okay. So and either the veggies or the egg. Or the egg. Not both. Not, no, I don't think I'll do both. Okay, so which way are we going today? <laughs> I'm not going egg today. Okay, let's go with the veggies. So I will go, I'll use my, no, I'll use this. No, you can use your hands. Please be free. I would probably go cu mm -hmm. two cucumbers. Okay. You like tomato? Tomato I like, but mm -hmm. I would probably slice the cucumber. Yeah, they're a bit, they're a bit yeah. big, yeah. We're we not eating, we're not eating. Sorry. No, we're no. not. Uh, Unless you want to. No, I don't want to eat <laughs> Have you had breakfast? I just literally had breakfast now. <laughs> that looks quite nice. It looks so I'll pretty. So i something like this. Mm -hmm. And I probably wouldn't, just because it looks pretty, mm, you I won't. probably wouldn't do this now. <laughs> but that would be something. If I had this option, I would definitely go some. Or mm. I would even have the, the, like the toast and then this on the side. Yeah, okay. But this looks really pretty, I must say. I love the colors. <laughs> yeah. It's not too bad. Right, so Mirma, thank you so much. That was your sandwich. I think it looks quite nice. It looks colourful and appealing. So, uh, you are quite creative. But do you otherwise cook at home? Very rarely, Very to be rarely. honest with you. Bre breakfast is something I would make mm -hmm. for uh, me and the family, but the rest of it I would very rarely cook. Very rarely cook, yeah. right. And uh, do you like to experiment with food now? We know you travel a lot, go to all these different places, and when you travel to a new place, does it sometimes excite you to try a new cuisine? There are times where I like to try new things mm -hmm. and actually Chris Jordan uh, he's taught me a lot about food actually because mm -hmm. not because of uh, in terms of he's made me try things because he said oh no you will like this mm -hmm. if you like this then you will like this so then he's mm -hmm. he's helped me with that because I was, before I was I wasn't down to like try sushi for example or something because our culture has never been yeah. a sushi sort of yeah. culture and, and I think I've also tried sushi and my initial few attempts I didn't like it yeah it took me some time to kind of develop the taste for it yeah yeah and now I'm exactly the same first two three times I was like what is this and then after a while you, you get, get think, oh, used to it and you start nice. liking it yeah, yeah. exactly so right. what's that one food experiment that you did and you were glad that you did it sushi would be sushi? That's, that's why it came to my mind mm -hmm. because that was I was never before, if you asked me maybe seven years ago, mm. I'd never eat sushi. Don't even bring it in front of me. No, because like it's raw face. and like, yeah. I mean, there's certain things I still wouldn't eat, but mm. it's like, oh, no, I can't even eat that. I was always like, I need warm food. I need uh, proper meat and yeah. chicken and, you know, like. I Some gravy. Eat. Yeah, gravies and all that. But then sushi is the one thing I'm, I'm really glad uh, you I tried. ate. Yeah. yeah. And what's that experiment that didn't quite go how you'd expect it uh, to be. Like uh, Japanese type of food. Mm. So yeah, I know it's similar but very different also. Yeah. Like, I don't like the uh, Thai green curries and all that kind of stuff. I like our own desi sort of yeah. style curries. Yeah. 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 All right. Last segment is called This or That. I'm going to give you a couple of scenarios because it's a breakfast show. They are going to be around breakfast. Yeah. And you have. I'll, I'll give you two options also. So you have to just pick an option that okay. you would rather do. Ready? Yeah. So your first one is morning run on the beach or a morning session in the gym. 
morning run on the beach. Mm -hmm. Hot milk in your cereal or cold milk? Hot milk. Okay, I'm the cold milk person. <laughs> English tea or karak chai? Uh, <laughs> karak chai. All right, brilliant. A yoga class in the morning or an hour's extra sleep? I was extra sleep. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> Pancakes or waffles? Waffles. Brilliant. Breakfast in bed or breakfast on the beach? Breakfast on the beach. Thank you. <laughs> okay, smell your food only or taste your food. So if we could only have like one uh, sense. Taste. No smell? No. Okay. See, this is one thing my wife, I always tell my wife, she likes to smell her food before she I eats. I do that like, also. I'm like, why do you smell it? Yeah. You don't eat with your nose, you eat with your mouth. So you might as well taste and it. And most of the time, it's not very appealing. Yeah. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> uh, most, if you smell everything, it's yeah. actually not nice. Yeah. 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 Okay, your last one. Pizza for breakfast or paratha for breakfast? Paratha for sure. Paratha for breakfast. That's it. Moin bhai, thank you so much. It was lovely catching up with you over breakfast. I hope you also enjoyed our segment. I did, I pretty much so, yeah. Thank, thank you, you so much and all the best to you for the rest of the tournament. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah.